In this video, we are going to create this flower, this guy right here, and in the process, we are going to use some really nice, some really nice techniques. And actually, we are going to use one technique uh, that we used when uh, when creating this deserted uh, desert island. Um, uh, flat design. So all of you who have seen that uh, that video, well, you well, I don't want to say that it will be easier for you to understand. Well, maybe a bit. It, <laughs> it will be easier for you to understand. But all of you who haven't seen that video, don't worry. You'll be able to follow along uh, just uh, just as easy. So let's uh, let's actually head to to the proper artboard. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna double click on this artboard, and I'm gonna create a new layer as usual, and I'm gonna call it uh, flower, flower. And I don't want it to be black. I don't like this color. I'm gonna go with maybe brick red. Why not? Okay. So the first thing that we are going to do. Let me just go back to the flower. Uh, uh, are these petals right here? So. To start creating them, all we need is to grab the ellipse tool, so I'm activating it by pressing the L key, and I'm simply going to create an ellipse that's going to look uh, something like that. This should be fine. Now, I want to convert this ellipse into something that would look like a like a map marker you can sometimes see on the web. Um, so I want to have a, like a spike here in the bottom, and that's, uh, that's going to be extended to the bottom. So that's as easy as simply grabbing the the convert uh, anchor point tool, which sits under uh, the pen tool, well in the pen tool group, this guy right here, and I am simply gonna let me just maybe zoom in a bit. So I am simply going to click on this uh, on this anchor point just like that. Now I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna grab the direct selection tool and I'm gonna click and drag on this guy. I'm gonna hold down the shift key to drag it to something like that. This should be fine. Now there is there there is no right or wrong here. Actually, you can uh, you can drag it as uh, as far to the bottom as you want or as close to the top as you want. It will all it will all um, depend on um, on how you want uh, your your pedal to to look like uh, ultimately. So now that I have this shape created, all I need is I uh, I need to divide it into two halves because uh, in the original uh, the the left um, and uh, the right side of the pedal have different colors. So I'm simply going to activate the line segment tool by pressing the backspace key on the um, the backslash key on the keyboard, and I'm going to create a line holding down the shift key that goes uh, through my through my pedal just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to grab all of these guys. I want to make sure that all of these guys are selected. I'm going to go to the Pathfinder tool and simply press the Divide option, just like that, to have two separate parts of the petal. And I don't want it to be a group. And this is uh, this is quite an important step to take uh, at this stage uh, of the design. So I want to ungroup it. So I'm going to press Control Shift G on my keyboard or Command Shift G uh, if you're on a Mac. And I'm gonna get rid of the uh, of the stroke, and I think I'm gonna add colors uh, right now. So I'm gonna go to my, to to my flowers uh, to my flower uh, color swatch group, and the left guy is gonna have this lighter blue color, and the right guy is gonna have this darker blue color uh, color just like that. I'm gonna make them just a bit smaller and maybe zoom out a bit, and. What I want to do right now is I want to, of course, rotate them and uh, and copy them at the same time. And we already know how to do that. So I'm going to go to the rotate tool and I'm going to simply alt click on this bottom anchor point. And it depends on, on well, it depends on on you uh, how many petals you want to you want to have. Uh, ultimately, I don't want it. Uh, I don't want the number to be too big. So I'm simply going to go with 360 and I'm going to divide it, uh, let's say, by 12. And I'm simply gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna hit copy. And now all we need to do is to simply press the Control D or Command D uh, on the keyboard, which would be the same as going to the Object menu, Transform, and then Transform again. So I'm gonna press it just a few times, just like that. And as you can see, we got a bit of a problem here. I mean, this pedal right here, this guy right here, is um, well, it's it's not looking well with the rest of the guys. Well, that's because it's simply on top of the stack. But uh, well, there's uh, there's really a very simple simple solution to that. Uh, but to tell you the truth, I think uh, it took me an hour to figure it out myself. 
So uh, the, uh, the fact that we ungrouped our paddle uh, earlier in the process uh, is really, uh, well, it's going to pay off right now because all we need to do is to simply initialize uh, the direct selection tool. So I just did that by pressing the A key on the keyboard and I'm simply going to press on this left part of this pedal and I'm simply going to uh, move it all the way to the back by pressing the control shift and the left bracket on my keyboard. There will be command shift left bracket on your keyboard and as you can see we moved only this guy to the to the uh, to the bottom of the stack and now our flower is looking really 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 nicely now what we can do is we can add this uh, this uh, middle part uh, of the flower i'm not a flower specialist so i don't <laughs> i don't know the technical term of it i do however know how to create that in illustrator so i'm simply gonna initialize the ellipse tool by pressing the l key on the keyboard and I'm gonna find this anchor point right here. Maybe let me just zoom in a bit. I'm gonna find this anchor point that is actually in um, the middle of my of my flower. So I'm simply going to Alt click and hold on the Shift key and make the ellipse something like that. This should be fine. And I'm gonna give it this nice yellow color. And I'm gonna add kind of like a shade in here to the bottom. So that's as easy as simply cloning it somewhere to the left and to the top as well. So maybe I'm gonna move it to somewhere here. And I think I'm gonna make it just a bit bigger, just like that. And I'm gonna move it ever so slightly up somewhere here. And now I'm gonna grab both these guys. So this, this bigger ellipse and this smaller ellipse, if I can just grab it properly. Um, okay, so I got one. Let me maybe maybe just well here's here's a, a quick little trick you, you might want to use when working with Illustrator if you have uh, difficulties with selecting uh, like like I have some some objects right here. All you could do is to simply go to the outline mode and in the outline mode, let me just zoom in. You can see a bit better where actually your path is. So I'm going to select the, this um, this smaller ellipse and this bigger ellipse, and now I'm going to go back to the to the preview mode. And in the Pathfinder tool, again, I'm going to hit Divide, just like that. And I'm going to, with the Direct Selection tool, click on this guy on this top part right here. So I initialize the Direct Selection tool by pressing the A key. I'm going to click on it, delete it. And now I'm going to press this bottom uh, bottom uh, path right here, and I'm going to make it. Uh, I'm going to make it this darker. Well, this uh, actually this orange color, just like that. And there we go. We got the the main part of our flower of our flower created. We created the petals with uh, with the ellipse tool. Then we transformed it a bit with the convert anchor point tool. We moved uh, that converted anchor point to the bottom, and then we rotated uh, these guys and, and copied them at the same time. We move. Remember this uh, this part of the petal to the bottom of the stack so it looks so so everything looks nicely. And just now we created this this middle part uh, to to finish um, this shape of the flower. So in the next video we are going to create the leaves and the stem. So all you uh, all of you guys who have seen my um, desert uh, desert island uh, video, uh, well, you are going to you're, you're going to know what's uh, what's about to happen in the next step. But all you others, don't worry, you'll be able to follow along just uh, just as easy. So let's do that in the next video.